Oh, this is Mike, NoStressMike.com, and uh, I want to share a little bit with you. I just came back from the gun show. Uh, we, uh, the the people I'm staying with, they do they have a a table at the gun show, and so that's what got me going in there. So I say it's been a long time, and. Uh, but anyway, what I want to do, I want to share with you a little bit of stuff uh, and share with you what I've learned. Because, uh, you know, I say I, I ask a lot of questions. And, um, but anyway, let me share with you a little bit of stuff. And uh, this, this is why I like going to the gun show. You can buy a lot of stuff at the gun show. The, the problem with buying stuff at the gun show they don't always have all the stuff that you you want so uh it's kind of like a flea market but it's all uh, uh preparedness uh type uh put together all all together but anyway one of the things is i got this stuff it's uh um i didn't they didn't have any demonstrations or nothing on this kind of stuff those kind of things when they put up the little table and they demonstrate all the stuff usually you pay a lot uh, this thing here, uh, it's for uh, waterproofing uh, or water treatments, like what, what do they call it? Well, water protection uh, for metal, so uh, guns, uh, for gun stuff, and it's called Gun Slick. So, uh, don't know, I'm going to have to try it. Uh, but it was two bottles for five dollars, so priced right, just, just right where I wanted it. So, uh, I got that. And then, uh, uh, let's see if you can see this. Uh, this is a range bag. Yeah. Get it out here for you. So, uh, like I say, it's a it's range bag and it was two for eighteen dollars my prices and um, I bought one the last time I was at the gun show and then I, 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 I was mad at myself because I only got one and so this time I went on and got two more and uh, now uh, I thought I was gonna make uh, one of them uh, my first aid bag I've been using a backpack but it's pretty much full, and I'm, I'm and it's hard to organize. And uh, I met someone, and he showed me his first aid, and it was in a range bag, and it was all laid out really good. So uh, that's why I thought, okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in a range bag. I never wanted it in a range bag because it's too big. Um, but I say the older I get, the more experience I get, the more I see things happen that I think maybe I need a bigger first aid and I say the, don't forget your first aid is always for you only and uh, but anyway also I got some sutures and uh, I got four sutures let's see those are the nylon and that was the the silk so uh, and uh, so I was asking him questions and uh, one thing, the, the numbers, you see 2 aught and the other one's uh, 3 aught. Uh, that's the size of the needle. The smaller the, the number, like say it's like the, the 2 aught means it's, uh, it's thinner the, the needle, or the thicker. The smaller the number, the thicker the needle. And uh, it's, um, when you get it, it goes up to uh, 10. And the 10 is when you're sewing like an eyelid, and uh, it's a real thin skin is what you do. And then the thicker ones is when you're getting into the meat. And then, uh, I say, the uh, those are the poly, poly whatever. Uh, those um, is... Uh, 
uh, it's made, and then the size of the needle and stuff, it's uh, made for the outside parts of the skin. So, and for me, uh, for my use, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not operating like going in and uh, sewing a, 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 a colon or, or something like that. So that's why I, went, I stuck with the, the bigger needles. And then I uh, got the silk, and uh, that's for um, uh, it's easier to get the, the threads out. And I say, these are all for me, so I'm thinking you know, for me on this I'm more than anything. And we talked about um, uh, blood clotting stuff. And uh, there's, I'm sorry, I don't remember the names, uh, but there's a, a blood clotting thing, and I heard that, um, that um, this one blood, blood clotting thing, when you put it on a wound, uh, it's hard to get off and so that's what I was uh, asking him about and getting more information about it and then what it came out was um, uh, he said that's what it is and the, the one that he had was that type it's a powder in an envelope and if you got a, a, a large open wound you pour it in there and then it'll get kind of hot and what it does is it um, it kind of like burning the the wound, so you know, so it's it's good on that. the The bad thing about it is uh, you have to go to a hospital, you have to be in a hospital environment uh, with an operating room and all that stuff to take it off. So in other words, it burns into the skin, and so you need some real help to get it out. And so um, I. I didn't get any, so that's why I've got mainly uh, pressure bandages and stuff like that. Uh, like I say, I'm not into the surgical stuff. Uh, it's one of these, for the, my surgical stuff falls under, if I have to do it, I'll do whatever I have to do. But uh, like I say, when you uh, put in that kind of stuff and then you need a, 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 a operating room to uh, take it out, that's something I don't really want to get involved in. Because I don't know if I want to get that kind of a help. So uh, I chose not to, not to do that. And then um, another thing I got, let me see, I'll show you. It's uh, an ammo can um, for whatever kind of ammunition it is. I don't even know what it, what it is. Now, what got my attention... Uh, it's really heavy duty plastic, real heavy duty. And um, let's see if, we, if it shows the inside. But uh, anyway, it's really heavy duty. It seals really well. You can see up there, it seals. Uh, the guy that was selling it said that he's tested it himself personally and he's uh, buried it. Uh, he's drove on top of it. Uh, it's a real durable uh, container. And so that uh, that really makes a, a big difference because of what I want to use it for. And I say uh, three-man militia stuff. Uh, uh, I say we're in our staying in our own area, and this is what I talked about before: is uh, our perimeter. We will have these kind of containers out there. The containers will be there. Uh, we can have maybe some food in there, ammunition, um, you know, maybe some a little bit of first aid stuff, just whatever we're going to need for that particular location and it's the containers kind of heavy I wouldn't want to carry the container around but it's something we can take it out to where we're going to have it, uh, leave it and we can bury it or you know rain can rain on it and stuff like that uh, or you know just kind of camouflage it up 
uh, where we can get to it without having to dig it all up. And uh, but this is why I, I wanted those things. I got I got two of them, and we're going to try them out, and then we'll uh, because I've seen them before in gun shows. I just never. I thought, well, they're too heavy, you know, I can't use them. I was going to put maybe ammunition in them, use them for something to carry ammunition, but they're heavy already. Uh, but they're big enough to carry like 2,500 rounds of uh, 223, and uh, he says it'll, it'll hold uh, 3,000 rounds of 9mm. So, you know, they're, so you can use them uh, for ammo cans, but I say they're, they're heavy, but if it's something that you're going to store, store it in, uh, it might be a, a good thing. So these are things that I, I look for uh, when I was when I go to the gun show. I noticed uh, nowadays you can get uh, uh, armor, uh, body armor, and stuff like that's been at the gun show. They had some of that, um, uh, and the, the just in the way of firearms, um, they they had some pretty neat stuff. One thing that I've noticed prices, I had somebody tease me uh, because all the weapons I have are old. Uh, and But like I say, they've made changes through the, through the time and stuff. But like I say, I practice with them, I've used them, I know their capabilities. Um, in the way of upgrading, there wouldn't be much of an advantage in upgrading. I mean, there was a time when I had revolvers. And then I upgraded, um, and then the next thing I know, I, I went to these plastic guns, and so, but uh, so I got some of the first plastic guns that came out, but they're still good, they're still useful, and so uh, there's no real reason uh, to upgrade on them because they they work plenty good, and so uh, so I save a lot of money because I'm not like a lot of people buying firearms. Then you need to buy all the ammunition to get used to them, and, and then you find out that's not going to serve your purpose. So, you know, but for me, all that is behind me on the firearm stuff. Uh, well, except for maybe tomorrow, uh, go back again tomorrow, because we've got to go uh, pick up everything at the at our table. And I'm thinking about maybe getting a, another 1,000 rounds of uh, uh, AK ammunition, 7.62 by 39. Uh, the last gun show, I picked up 2,000 rounds of 9mm, and uh, so normally that uh, ammunition is a good place, uh, or uh, gun show is a good place to pick up ammunition. And uh, so, uh, so I, you, know, you can, can't have too much ammunition. And the only other thing is just trying to store it, you know, this type of stuff. But anyway, I thought I would share this with you, uh, the stuff that I got, and a little bit of why and how, and and all that stuff. Oh yeah, and like that that spray stuff. I thought when I saw it, I thought well, it was the price is right, and they said it works. And I thought, well, you know, just for uh, water protection. I thought, well, what do I need something like that? It lubricates and, and protects. And I thought, what well, I need that, you know, for my plastic guns. But you know, and I started thinking about it, and you know, the AK is pretty much uh, mostly metal. So I thought, well, maybe I might better do a little bit of something with that. So I'll be trying that, but. Uh, uh, but anyway, so that that's what got me going. But I thought I'd share that with you. This is Mike, no stress Mike dot com.